thing with this clip, put an AFE Takata intake audio. They actually added two mics directly out of this Insta360 GO 3. All right, we just sat down in my Honda S2000. We got the Insta360 GO 3 on. We're gonna start the car. We got the interior light that's currently on. You can see a little bit POV. I'm just wearing a hat backwards and right on top, I'm using the little whatever you wanna call piece. Now with the GO 3, you have the pod, as you can see here, which also doubles as a screen, but when you have it active on the phone, as you can see right there, I'm gonna leave the preview open. This gets disconnected. All right, I think we're good. I have music's playing on like Spotify or whatever. Like I was saying, when you got the preview on the phone, then the preview turns off here. And then if you turn it off on the phone, you could have it here, which is kind of neat because this thing flips out. You could do lots of little cool, neat features on it. But today, we are just going to go for a drive and we're gonna see how the video and the audio sounds directly out of this Insta360 GO 3. So if you wanna see a little S2000 POV drive or you're here to see how the Insta360 works or sounds, I'm gonna try and sit a little back and low so we can get the tachometer. I don't know if it's gonna be a perfect I'm kind of sitting awkward right now because I'm trying to sit lower on purpose. Got some squeaky seats. But yeah, hopefully this will help folks who are maybe interested in getting this. Of course, you can edit the audio and the video in post. I use Adobe Premiere. I might do that, but then I might also leave some unedited so you guys can see what it looks like, what it sounds like, regular. And, um, you know, if someone wants to see a little POV drive of an S2000, then we got that too. I got this specifically for car content. It does sit kind of high. A lot of folks use the GoPro with the, the hat sitting forward and then it goes in between their eyes. I don't know, man. Like, to me, that blocks a lot of your view. I also wear glasses. It's, it's a pain. So this little guy, the Go 3, Come on, you, you really? My light's not gonna turn green over here? Like I was saying, I had the Go 2, and the main thing with the Go 2, I returned it, was I had, there was like a record limit. I think it overheated at like 15 minutes, and I would go on these drives, not timed. I would just go on long drives, and then, you know, in post, I wanna edit them. I got home, I'm like, I could barely record. I got 15 minutes, and that was it. They say they solved that with the Go 3. If this light don't turn green soon, I'm just gonna go somewhere else. I'll just fast forward anyway till we start moving. Yo, this light just skipped me twice. I don't know if you guys could see. This light skipped me twice, I'm out of here. We're going another way, this is ridiculous. So this is a 2008 Honda S2000. I just got it recently. I got it completely stock. All I did was put an AFE Takata intake on like a few days ago. That's it. Other than that, it's stock. Uh, well, besides the intake, like I just said. I, I love my S2000s. Hopefully I got the camera at a good angle. The cool thing with this clip that you could put on the hat and everything, you could adjust the angle up or down. This is my first time doing this. If it sat a little bit lower, or if I flip the hat, then maybe we can get some, the tachometer better and the road. Like I gotta like crouch down here. You see right now I'm kind of crouched in my seat to like get the tack. It's kind of annoying. I can see the preview on my phone, but let me sit up. Like this is me in my normal driving position. I don't know if the angle is good, but yeah, you know, it's a little annoying. So what are we at? Five, we're almost at six minutes and it's still recording. So that's a good sign. Six minutes, we gotta hit the 15 minute mark and see what happens. In a little bit, we'll do some wide open throttle pulls. And who knows, the Go 2 was decent. It was pretty decent for what it was. But this one should be a lot better. Audio, they actually added two mics. The old one only had one mic. And the video should be a lot better. Uh, I'm excited to see what this looks like. Again, it's nighttime, so let's not forget that. You know, cameras in general, video, photography, whatever, they really all shine in brighter conditions. Lighting has a lot to do with it. So at night, this is the first time I'm testing it. So, you know, it'll say a lot about this camera.
hopefully this will give you a good little visual audio impressions of it. I am not a tech channel, but I figured I just got this. Let me test it out for the first time. And hopefully some folks who are looking into getting the Go 3 can get some useful info out of this as far as sound and quality and everything. And the folks who are interested in cars, like my car channel, Driven District, which if you are, then subscribe for more. We got this S2000 that we're driving in. So you get yourself a little POV drive, some VTEC, some nice sounds, hopefully if stuff comes out good. We're about to be back though. So like I said, if you're interested in more car content, be sure to subscribe for more and check out drivendistrict.com for some performance parts and merch. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. All right, so we just arrived back. We are done with the drive and we are officially over 15 minutes and we are still recording. So let's see the camera life. The box, I believe the top is the box. It shows 97%. Wow, this guy is already 39, 38. So battery does not last long, 38%. And I'm pretty confident this was 100% charged. I left it charging for a very long time. So 15 minutes, almost 16 minutes. Good thing is it's still recording, but we're down to under 40% battery life already. So uh, we'll get lucky if we get half an hour. I don't know, maybe it wasn't 100%, I don't know. But just wanted to let you know, we are now above 16 minutes and it's still recording.